going through hard time is a very normal process of life nobody can evade from it we all go through difficult time once in a while in life it's there you cannot escape from it it's going to happen it is that not happened yet in your life but the thing is you need to recognize it acknowledge it process it then flush it life is difficult life is hard things are never easy I don't know what you're going through right now. It could be a very damaging situation, a loss of somebody dear in your life, something that was really important to you that's gone forever. I understand it's hard and it's okay to cry about it. It's okay to feel bad, but you cannot do anything about it. See, there are things you can do something about. There are certain things you cannot do anything about. If it's something done by your mistake, then recognize it, acknowledge it, Process it, learn from it. If it's a mistake, learn from it. What did I do wrong? How can I fix things? How can this not happen again in the future? What has put me in this position? How did I place myself to find myself in this position? So you can do something about it to change situations so it never happens again. You have the decision. Losing a job, you might not do anything about it because you might not go back to the same job. It's maybe a door opening to a new situation, to a new reality. So as much as it is hard, it is painful, just understand that everything happens for a good reason. And the good reason is you learn, you learn something from it and you learn something about you. Difficult times are not always difficult times. Difficult times sometimes hide good times. Sometimes you have to go through difficult times in order to open doors to better times in your life. And everything in life is a process, is an episode, is a time, is a chapter that you might have to go through before you become who you're supposed to be. So if it's something you cannot do anything about, look at it, learn from it. Just know that it's part of life. And if it's something you can do something about, then you have the decision, you have the tools. Do what you have to do to get out of that situation. Don't make the same mistakes again and complain and say, why it's happening to me. Maybe you need to look at yourself with clear eyes, with sober, soberness in your mind, knowing that you are the master of your future. As much as God does everything that you need, you're playing a big role in what happens in your future. So practically, it's like you've lost money. Ask yourself, how did I lose money? What was my implication into losing money? What did I do wrong? Did I trust the wrong person? Was I involved in a bad business? Okay, a failed relationship. How did the relationship fail? What was wrong? A failed marriage. What didn't I do that I could have done that could have fixed things? Should I maybe have apologized for some situation? Did I recognize my wrong? Was I truthful to myself? So whatever you go through, recognize it, own it, learn from it and flush it. If it's your mistake, then it's your responsibility to look at yourself and say, maybe I could have done things differently. Don't blame everybody else for things that happen to you if it's your mistake. Because you, you're not doing yourself any good. The bottom line is you're going to repeat it again and again and again. And you're going to sit yourself in a position where everybody's always wrong. And you're always the victim. And that's the mentality you need to kill. And if there's something that you could not do anything about, which is like a loss of a family member, a loss of somebody dear, a fellow of a very good thing, very important thing in your life, then you cannot do anything about it. You just got to know that it's opening door to a new situation, a better you. God bless.